<laughs> What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to the video, guys. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about two things. I'm going to talk about Tesla and why I spent a ton of money on Tesla this past week. And also, I'm going to talk about uh, investing and day trading and why I do both. So, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So this past week was a uh, kind of a crazy week. Um, we started the week uh, Monday, um, September 22nd, with you no know, battery day and Elon Musk, like you know, telling us about the company, where new products, the direction, uh, you know, gigafactories in Berlin, um, and all the good stuff, which was good. Um, uh, to me, like one of the key things that stood out uh, for Battery Day was the fact that they announced that in three years they might have a Tesla that's uh, that's going to cost us about twenty five thousand dollars. That means any average person could be driving a Tesla. Man, can you imagine? There's going to be so much demand for that car um, uh, for, from people. But all that good news did nothing for the stock. The stock took a beating. Like, man, it took a punch. It just couldn't withstand it. We're talking about down to as low as $350 a share. Um, and here's the thing. A lot of people were panicking and worried, like selling. There's all this sell-off. And I'm just like, if you are a short seller and you're doing that, that's good for you. You're making profit. But if you are not a short seller and the stock is going down and you're selling, it's like, what is wrong with you? I get it. But... I, for once, I was excited when I saw it going down because um, from a long-term perspective, I was like, yeah, go down so I can buy more. So, And so here's the thing. The stock went down and I put in $30,000 again in Tesla. Already have some uh, a position in Tesla. I just added to my position. And so if you're one of those people that is buying Tesla just for the hype of it because you hear people's like, oh, the stock went up to $2,500. Um, that's before the split. Um, you get excited, things like, oh, no, I just want to buy them and make quick money. And then you're buying Tesla for the wrong reasons. I personally, I'm buying Tesla because I, I love the company. I love the vision that Elon Musk has for the company. I love the growth. I love their diversification of their, their products, um, which to me, that is why I'm buying it because uh, the return on the investment with Tesla is not going to happen three, four, five months from now. I'm looking for five years from now when Tesla is going to be like um, Amazon. Um, you know, doing all these different things with cars and solar panels and batteries and like all these fantastic products that they're working on. So to me, that's why I put in that, putting in that kind of money into Tesla. And again, if the stock keeps going down and I have money, I'm going to keep pumping money into Tesla and buying it. So I'm super excited um, about that um, because right now, if you bought Tesla at 350, it's trading at uh, I think $407 already. So if you went in at 350, you'll be sitting at $50 a pop already per share, which is crazy. Uh, again, most people, panic when the stock is going down people don't want to buy and then once the stock comes and start going back up everybody wants to like oh get decided and they start buying um all you're doing is driving the price for some of us that bought the bottom which is awesome so uh, i'm not i'm not complaining about it so uh the reason i'm actually like kind of telling you guys about this is because i've gotten a question where people are asking me uh if because i do day trading uh does that mean that i don't buy stocks and hold them long term no, I do buy stocks and hold them long term. As a matter of fact, I have uh, a dividend portfolio as well as a growth portfolio. So I have stocks that are dividend paying stocks long term and I have stocks that are growth stocks long term. For instance, Tesla is a growth stock in my portfolio because I like it. I know that there's an opportunity there for me for, for the stock to grow and I know the returns are going to be significant. So I have that. And on the flip side, I have companies that do pay um, good dividends. So you, you, you're you talking companies like uh, uh, Walmart, you, you know, I'm talking V. Are. Those are companies that pay uh, good dividends. Um, so I do have those companies um, and I have them. I do buy and, and, and hold for long term. So here's how I do it. 
um, on the day trading side, when I make a profit, um, I can use some of that profit and buy long-term stocks and just keep piling them so that I can enjoy that growth. Um, I even do buy some um, uh, ETFs and, and also index funds um, just so I have the diversification in my portfolio. So um, there is a key difference. Uh, if you're day trading, Again, you don't have any, affili any affiliation with the, the stock, like you don't want to hold it long term. You just want to flip it, make some money, and then go find the long term stocks that you love and then put that money there and let it grow in over the years. And if it's a dividend paying stock, good. If it's uh, just a growth stock, you put it there and then watch it grow. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Again, um, this past week was uh, a crazy week in the market. Um, no, again, like I said, I put in thirty thousand dollars in Tesla, and um, I'm right now. I'm not worried about it. I know for sure this is a four, five, six years down the road uh, return that I'm going to see uh, on my investment. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to keep adding to my position as much as I can. So, uh, question of the day, guys. Let me know. Did you buy some Tesla? Do you think that Tesla has that potential to you know, make the changes that we expect as far as EV and all the other stuff? Uh, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, again, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. If you're looking to get started with investing, Webo again is doing a promotion where you get two free stocks, not one value somewhere between eight dollars and sixteen hundred dollars. So definitely uh, click the links in the description and go check them out. Sign up, deposit a hundred dollars, you get two free stocks. And as always, guys, stay motivated.